My name is Peaches Horn. My real name is Tammy Wilson Horn. I work for Phillips 66, but I also volunteer in my community a lot, especially in the churches here, Jesus Free Will and Enterprise Baptist Church. Seeing there was a need when Harvey started coming and just started volunteering at Thursday night and been doing it since then, never left, stayed here because we had homeless people and we had some senior citizens that would not leave even when it was mandatory Monday. So I stayed here and just started posting on Facebook, Facebook everything that was going on because a lot of people didn't know. They had no eyes and ears here to see what their property looked like, what was flooded. So I was the eyes and ears here and doing what I do, and that's my community and service for God. Well, good. Thank you. So uh, have you guys been getting a lot of donations, or are you guys getting This has more? been local donations most okay. of it. Yes. So no outside donations? I don't know whether outside, how many outside, like from multiple um, places? Sure. Well, the other day, we had over 60 people donate. That was just yeah. one day. Yes, yeah, just local stuff. Okay. But nothing from, like you have done, or like the truck that's coming from Chicago, nothing like that has come to Matagorda County. Okay, so obviously you can use the help. Yes, sir, definitely. Okay. Well, I'm glad we are able to help you a little bit and we appreciate it i mean we that's why i was blowing up your phone and everything because we was like when are you gonna come we need you yes because the stuff you see here right now that would be dispersed tonight right and that would be gone yes so so people come over here mm -hmm. to get supplies yes okay and then you just distribute it we distributed to Pledger, which was hit hard by the flood, Bambaleg, which was hit really hard. Sergeant had a tornado, and that's the very coast. That's on the Gulf Coast, and also Matagorda, which is on the Gulf Coast. So, uh, obviously, people are donating. What would be the, what you would consider that you need the most at this point? I mean, cleaning supplies. Definitely cleaning supplies, food, and household goods, pots, pans, dishes, sheets, even if we had mattresses and furniture, we would appreciate it. Okay. People so, have lost everything. Water got all the way up to their roof. Right. So clothing, because I noticed a lot of people are turning away clothing. Yes. And that's because we have so many people that's trying to get in. The clothing is the last resort because even in the flood, you could wash those clothes and reuse them. Right. Okay. It's the furniture and the other things that have lost. Refrigerators, stoves, all those things. So pretty much everything. Yes. Okay, yes. uh, what about baby supplies? Baby supplies are in a definite need and so are animals. Oh, right, so feed for cats and dogs. Dogs, and yes. What about horses, the, yes. Yeah, horses, cattle, all that? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Okay. And we had someone to deliver hay yesterday to the airport, and so a lot of people actually went to Houston to get hay. Okay. 